Today I'm here with the book tag. I'm gonna do the I haven't thought this through what I want to say in my intro. Hello there bookworms, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you again. My name is Annie and today I will be doing the 20 questions book tag. I haven't been tagged to do this but I was just looking for some quick and fun video to film today and I saw Serena's version of this tag over at her channel A Wandering Mind. I'm gonna leave a link to her video in my description box. Unfortunately I couldn't find the original video of this tag, I don't know if it still exists. But anyway, this is a book tag with 20 bookish questions to get to know me and my reading taste this a little bit better. So let's jump straight into the questions and the first one is how many books are too many books in a book series? So I actually don't really read that many very long series. The last one I finished was Throne of Glass. But I'm gonna say five books are usually fine, six can be okay, seven are usually too much in my opinion. I feel like if a series goes on for too long the story gets repetitive and drawn out and as much as I love creative and well-developed worlds and good character development. I think five or six books are usually enough. So question number two is how do you feel about cliffhangers? That depends on whether I have the next book in the series ready or not. If I have it already and I can read right on, then I usually don't mind cliffhangers. I even tend to like them. But if the next book in the series isn't out yet and I have to wait for it like a year, then I don't like cliffhangers because by the time the next book gets published, I have usually forgotten what has happened in the previous book and how it ended. I just know that that was a cliffhanger. But I'm usually not in the mood to reread the previous book before I read the next one. So in that case, I'm really not a fan of cliffhangers. Question number three, hardcover or paperback? totally hardcover for me. I'm a very aesthetic person so I love to look at my bookshelves. I want them to look pretty and when I buy a book I also want it to look pretty on the shelves and in my opinion hardcovers just look prettier than paperbacks. I know that paperbacks are cheaper but personally I'm totally willing to spend a few more euros, a bit more money to get the hardcover edition. <laughs> Question number four, your favorite book? So my number one all-time favorite book and trilogy is The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. This is the 10th anniversary special edition. This is just, I love this trilogy, this will always be my favorite. But if you've seen my previous videos, you knew about this already, so I try to think of another one that comes close and that is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I read this last year and I absolutely loved everything about this book. I have read this only once by now but I can totally see myself rereading this in the future. <laughs> Question number five, your least favorite book. I don't have a least favorite book because I think that every book has some positive qualities to it and I really thought about this but I couldn't come up with any book. I just think it's mean to say this is my least favorite book. There are so many books around and who am I to say this book is so bad it's my least favorite. So I don't have an answer for this question. Question number six, love triangles, yes or no? Big no for me. I'm not the biggest fan of romance in books generally anyway. I'm fine with it if it's like well integrated in the story and if it does something to move forward the plot and to develop the characters but I'm just not a romance reader and love triangles in my opinion is a trope that is so overdone. There are a handful of books that did it well but I am way past this phase in my reading life. Question number seven is most recent book you couldn't finish and I haven't DNF'd a book in a very long time. I don't really like DNFing books in general and I try not to do it and I think uh, I haven't DNF'd a book this year and I can't remember, oh yeah right, last last year. I uh, DNF'd The Martian last year, that was in February, so this is over a year ago, but I think The Martian really was the last book that I DNF'd. Question number eight is book you're currently reading. And I'm one of those people who always read several books at the same time because one isn't enough for me. And the first one is The Language of Thorns by Lee Dugo. This is a fairy tale or story collection from her Grisha verse. And I am actually rereading this. I'm reading this for the second time. And I started to reread this when I finished watching Shadow and Bone on Netflix. And the reason I still have this on my currently reading pile is that I really read this one story at a time. So I take my time with this one because it doesn't have a coherent story. The second book I'm reading at the moment is Rule of Wolves, also by Lee Dugo. This is the second book in the Nikolai duology, also set in the Grisha Wars. And well, I am... Um, almost done with this book and I absolutely love it so far. I like it a lot more than the first one. I even made some post-it in it to be able to find the quotes that I liked in the end. And I am also currently reading a third book because two still isn't enough for me. And this is actually an arc that I got from NetGalley and it is Capsule by Mel Torrefranca. Question number nine is last book you recommended to someone. So I thought about what the last book was that I recommended to someone in real life because I have a few friends who read the same books as I do 
And some months ago, one of them visited me and she asked me for some YA sci-fi recommendations and I told her to try out Unearth by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner and Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray. I don't know if she has picked up any of the books by now. I'm gonna have to ask her and I'm gonna have to ask her if she liked them, if she did. Question number 10 is oldest book you've read by publication date. And I thought about this and the first one that came to my mind is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This came out in 1997. But then I remembered that I also have a very old edition of Grimm's Fairy Tales lying around somewhere and I actually don't know when those were published first but they definitely came out earlier than Harry Potter. <laughs> And question number 11 is news book you've read and this is Sturmglas by R.M. Amerein. This is a German science fiction novel that just recently got published and I won a review copy from the author. So question number 12 is favorite author and I actually don't have one favorite author but among my favorite authors is definitely Marie Lu. I love everything that I've read by her so far and also on the list are Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman and probably also Lee Bardugo. Question number 13 is buying or borrowing books and totally buying with this one because like I said I like to have the books on my shelves and book collecting is also part of the hobby of reading for me uh, but of course I can't buy every single book that I read and I also don't want to so I use the library a lot but by now I've already reached the point where I know every book there that I'm interested in and while we're at it I also have to get something out. I'm a huge fan of in-store book buying. I like to browse the shelves in store and I also want to support the bookstore and if you don't have a bookstore near you where you can go and buy your books in store then please at least order them from the bookstore's homepage and not at Amazon or at some other Amazon owned site because especially small independent bookstores are struggling to survive and it can be really hard for them if everyone continues to buy their books on Amazon. I know that you can get every book from a bookstore and that's totally fine. I've ordered at Amazon myself already but I always check my local bookstore's website first because they can order most books that I want to have and I really firmly believe we have to support bookstores and not buy our books from Amazon. <laughs> I'm sorry this turned into some kind of rant but this is actually a topic that is very close to my heart and very important to me so this is something that I also will bring up in real life when I talk to people about buying books please buy your books in store and not on Amazon <laughs> so and now on to the next question number 14 a book you dislike that everybody else seems to love so I just filmed a video on popular books that I didn't like and I'm gonna leave a link to that in my description but in case you don't want to watch that right now I came up with another one and this isn't really a book that I didn't like. I gave this three stars on Goodreads and I liked it just fine but I just think it is a bit overhyped by everybody else and that is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. I know, I know, unpopular opinion around here. <laughs> Question number 15 is bookmarks or dog ears? Totally bookmarks for me. I have never dog eared a book, at least not on purpose as far as I remember and if I'm out somewhere and I don't have a bookmark with me then I will use a random piece of paper to put in my book or I will even memorize the page number or save it to my phone. <laughs> Question number 16, a book you can always reread. So of course The Hunger Games, I reread this like every year. But another book that I never get tired of rereading is Legend by Marie Lu. This was actually the first book I read by her and this is also the reason she's one of my favorite authors. And I think I've read this four or five times by now. This is another one of my all-time favorite YA dystopias. Number 17, can you read while listening to music? Uh, yes I can, I even have a reading playlist that mostly consists of instrumental film soundtracks and some like epic or cinematic music. I can also read while listening to songs with lyrics, and pop songs and the likes, but then it's really hard for me to concentrate because at a certain point I will just start singing and not concentrate on what I'm reading at all. Question number 18 is one point of view or multiple point of views? So I really thought about this for a while and I think multiple point of views, but only if there are not too many. I'm fine with two or maybe three point of views. There are a couple of books that have more point of views and they still work out because they are just so well constructed. But generally speaking, I think too many point of views make it kind of hard to follow the story. And then I even prefer a single point of view over like five or six. Question number 19 is do you read a book in one sitting or over multiple days? And I can remember when the last time was that I read a book in one sitting. I wish I was still able to do this, but somehow I've become such a slow reader over the last years and I usually don't read more than about a hundred pages at once and then I kind of lose focus and I have to do something else, check my phone, get something to eat, watch Netflix, whatever. But well, uh, multiple days 
usually doesn't do it for me either. I read books over multiple weeks and sometimes also over multiple months. And finally, question number 20 is who do you tag? And even though I wasn't tagged to do this by anyone, I still want to keep it going and I want to tag two people. I'm gonna tag Steph at Literati Medium and Literary Lion and I'm gonna leave links to both their channels down below in my description box as well. So that was the 20 questions book tag. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below in the comments if you agree or disagree with my answers. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to my channel or to my book blog that I've also linked down below. Happy reading and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye!